Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the third problem of Plato code by Euclid contest 140, which is find the lexicographically smallest value se sequence. So this problem is quite hard for a uh, lit code third problem, and I think it is kind of lit code hard. So let's discuss the problem first. So we are given two strings, uh, word one and word two. Let's call them S and T. Okay. So a string X is called almost equals to Y if you can change at most one character in X to make it identical to Y. Okay. A sequence of indices, a uh, sequence is called valid if the indices are sorted in ascending order. Concatenation uh, of the characters at these indices in word 1 is the same order in the string that is almost equals to word 2. So, uh, let's go through one example, you will understand it better. So, let's take the first example where A is BBCCA and uh, T is ABC. So, A is BBCCA and uh, T is, this is A and uh, or T is ABC. Now what we have to do, uh, take, we have to take a subsequence, uh, we have to take a subsequence from S, okay, we have to take a subsequence from S, let's take this subsequence, the first three letters, BBC, okay, now is BBC almost equals to T, yes, it is almost equals to T, because we can change this first character B to A, and the uh, new string B will become ABC, which is exactly matching with T, so we can say that uh, this subsequence is exactly, uh, is almost equals to T. So our answer, one answer candidate is nothing but 0, 1, 2. Is there any other answer candidate? Uh, another answer candidate would be obviously 0, 1, 3. That is also VBC. If we take this B, this B and this C, this is also another answer candidate. But we have to take uh, the uh, candidate which has minimum, uh, if we sort them in um, lexicographical order, they are minimum. So lexicographically smallest valid se uh, sequence is nothing but 0, 1, 2. Okay. So this is the problem. So this problem is uh, easily solvable in let's say this length of this is n and length of this is m. So we can do some kind of uh, dp or recursion to solve this problem in order of n into m. That is a, a, a completely different problem from this. So I am not going to discuss this, but you can try it to try to solve this problem in order of n into m. That would be also interesting. Okay. Now uh, let's uh, think about constants. So constants on n and m is 3 into 10 to the power 5. So the overall time complexity we can say that it should could be order of n plus m. And as the uh, English alphabet uh, is added here, so we can also think about the uh, complex uh, complexity as in order of n plus m into 26. So either of this n plus m or order of n plus m into 26 should be accepted. Okay. Now let's jump into some observation. What observations we can make and how I have solved this problem, how I have approached this problem. Let's discuss about that first. Okay. So what I have thought about is that we can iterate. Uh, we can iterate from uh, suffix. Okay. We can iterate from suffix and at each index i, we can find what uh, suffix we are. Uh, uh, let's say we are at some index i at s. So we have to figure out what suffix we can match. Okay. So let's do this for VBCCA only. So let's do this for B, B, C, C, A only. And our, this is S and our T is uh, nothing but B, C, A. Uh, I think, yeah, A, B, C. Uh, let's, let's think about this as B, C, A, okay. Now, here you can see that this A is matching with this A. So we can say that uh, the suffix, let's say we are considering suffix that is suffix, suffix I means that what is the length we can match uh, between S and T. So suffix, uh, let's suffix will be nothing but length of five. So a is matching with this a, so we can say this is one. Now this c is matching with this c, so we can uh, mark it as two. Okay, let's call it suffix array. Uh, I will explain this again. Now this c is not matching with this b. Okay, this c is not matching with this b. So uh, among this suffix c c a, what is the length of the uh, uh, suffix of t we are matching? The length of the suffix of t we are matching is nothing but ca okay we can match ca here so the suffix of i is nothing but 2 here now we are considering bcca in the bcca what uh, what uh, suffix of t we can match so what suffix of t we can match we can match the entire t so we can say that a suffix of this 2 is 3 similarly for bbcca what suffix we can match from taking subsequence from the entire string so that will be nothing but 3 so our suffix array is nothing but 3, 3, 2, 2. Uh, this, uh, I have formed this array. So uh, let's take another example. You'll understand it better. So uh, let's say we have some um, big thing, uh, big array. Uh, let's say we have A, B, C, Q, C, A, 
BCA. Let's say this is our uh, A setting. And let's say our uh, T is nothing but uh, BBCA. Okay, BBCA. Now, this A is matching with this A, so this will be 1. And this C is matching with this C, so this will be 2. This will be 3. Now, A is not matching with B, so this will be again 3. 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 But this B is matching with this B, so this will be 4 and this will be 4. Okay. Now, we, we have built the suffix array. Now, what to do next? How uh, we will build similarly the prefix array and how we are going to solve this? I will uh, explain you now. So, uh, let's say we have this uh, A, B, uh, A, B, P, Q, C, A, A, B, P, Q, C, A, B, C, A. Now, similarly, what we are telling that suffix i means that uh, taking the uh, su uh, suffix of length i, what is the um, suffix of t we are matching? What is the length of the suffix t we are matching? Similarly, for prefix i, we can say uh, by taking the prefix of length i, what is the prefix of uh, uh, this um, t we are matching? So, you know, we, with only taking a, we can't match this with um, b, so we can say this is 0. But uh, taking a, b, we can match uh, this with b, only length of one prefix, so this will be 1. Similarly, p this will be again 1 because we can only match uh, the prefix of b. Uh, taking q, uh, we can take this as 1 also. This as 1 also again. This will be 1 again. But this will be, when we are taking, considering this b, this will be 2. Uh, bbc, this will be 3. And bbc, this will be 4. So this will be our prefix array and this will be our suffix array. Okay. Now, with this prefix and suffix array, how we are going to solve this problem? So let's say, uh, let's say, we are just deleting uh, this character. Okay, let's say we are deleting this character. So what does it mean? We are deleting this character means that we are changing this character. Okay, so we can say that we have taken uh, something, some prefix from this uh, this position, this portion. We, we we have taken some prefix from prefix i minus one. Let's say we are deleting this. So we are saying that prefix of i minus one, some combination plus the i character change plus suffix of i plus one. So if we take everything, then we will sh we should have uh, some uh, super sequence of uh, s. So what we, I am going to say is that let's say prefix of i minus one gi gives us some value x. Okay, let's say prefix i minus one gives us some value x. And as we are changing one character i, so we will be making uh, it equals to some character of s. So that's why one character is matching here. So x plus one. Let's say suffix of i plus one is y. So we can say that x plus 1 plus y if this is greater than equals to uh, greater than equals to the length of the uh, pattern or length of t okay if x plus 1 plus y is greater than equals to m then we can definitely form uh, we can definitely form the subsequence um, we can definitely form the subsequence now uh, this i value this i value should be lowest as possible this i value should be lowest as possible because uh, Right, uh, if we are taking um, our answer and uh, let's say we are changing some value i, then we should have uh, as the sequence will be lexicographically smallest, so we should uh, change it in some left side value. Let's say we have some uh, index 1, i1, i2, and i3, okay, i3, i4. So, what value should we ch uh, change? The first value we should try to change is i1 decrease the value of i1 to something. If it is not possible, then we should try to decrease the value of i2. So that's why we should um, minimize the value of this i. That's why when we find this value, prefix i minus 1 plus i plus suffix of i plus 1, this is a super sequence of the s array, s string, then we'll take this, we'll take this string, okay? We'll take this string. So whenever this value x plus 1 plus y is greater than equals to m, we'll take this value, okay? Let's jump into the code, we will understand it better. So, uh, here I am constructing the suffix array, uh, as I have explained, okay. Now, if is, uh, we are iterating from the backwards of both s and t, and uh, we are initializing i to n minus 1 and j with m minus 1, okay. Now, if the si is equal to tj, then we are incrementing the value of c and assigning it is with suffix of i. Suffix of i is c and we are decrementing the value of j again. That's why a suffix is constructed here. Now we are not constructing the prefix array because we can do it in uh, in the same scan. Okay, so 
this t is nothing but this t will be our prefix i value we are not constructing the prefix array because uh, the c will give us the uh, current value of prefix i and we we'll don't need some prefix of i minus 1 okay so that's why uh, now vector of int is answer now if uh, the current i th character is matching with the current j th character of i is i and j both are initialized with 0 okay now if uh, si is matching with tj okay this is matching with this then we should take this uh, index we should take this index okay that's why uh, we are pushing the index uh, answer dot push back i now if the uh, current index of si is not matching with tj that means the index has come um, and we will take this value we'll try to take this value we'll uh, try to make this uh, as i because we'll try to change this value okay that's why we'll do if t t is nothing but our prefix of i minus 1 because we have not changed uh, prefix of i yet so prefix of i minus 1 plus 1 plus suffix of i plus 1 if this is greater than equals to m that means we can construct the entire string t okay then we are uh, answer dot push back i because why because we are changing the value of i to some character of s okay that's why we are doing answer dot push back i now we are incrementing the value of j plus plus the rest part is uh, quite straightforward so uh, let's say um, let's take one example you'll understand it better mm, let me try to take some example this uh, this is quite straightforward so let's say uh, let's say we have something like bvc uh, and our uh, s is dbc and our t is bac okay let's take this uh, simple example bbc and bac okay now uh, the suffix array will be nothing but uh, this is matching with this the suffix array will be one and this is one again and this is one okay now uh, this b is matching with this uh, b so this is suffix suffix right and prefix value of this will be one now we can say that prefix value of this is one so let's say we are at this index specific index this index so we, we can take that prefix of this is 1 plus 1 plus suffix of i is 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 3 then we can say that uh, this string uh, is uh, we can form this string okay we can form this t string from s by changing only one character so what will we do we will take uh, the index of this we will take 0 and 1 here now we are trying to take that this, is, this t is matching right so we will take this t but let's say there is something like instead of uh, bvc let's say the string is bvdc okay bvdc so this will be 1111 now we we'll take that if b is matching with this c we will take it otherwise we will skip that's what we are doing here if uh, we are uh, starting from i plus 1 if sk equals to tj we are incrementing the value of j and pushing back k otherwise we are not doing anything so uh, th this string is formed here so we are breaking okay now uh, another case is that let's say we have something like uh, abc and abc okay s is abc and t is abc that's why we don't have to change anything we don't have to change any character and uh, the string is already formed that's why if the answer dot size is equal to m this is one against case uh, uh, just return just break from the array now after uh, construction if the size of the answer array is not m then we are clearing the answer because we have to return empty set uh, empty array in that case I hope you got the explanation. Uh, if you have any doubt in any part of the explanation, you can always ask in the comment section. I will provide the link of the code in the description box. Please share the video among your peers. And if you find this video helpful, please like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.